Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Fuck. That was weird. Hey guys, welcome back to my fifth attempt at making this video. So today, just like the rest of my channel, we're gonna be talking about something different. Today we're gonna be talking about fitness. Now you might be asking, Clay, what do you know about fitness, Mr. Mr. Fit Guy? Well, I'll tell you, I don't appreciate the condescending tone, but I'll tell you my background anyway. In 2011, I began training with a buddy of mine who was also a personal trainer. I trained with him about three times a week until I graduated high school. In that time frame, I went from 230 to about 165 pounds. I continued training through my short experience in college where I made sure the only thing that was lower than my GPA was my squat. Before dropping out, I found a job at a local gym where I not only found a home, I found a family. Not so surprisingly, nearly everyone I worked alongside with was a personal trainer. So I decided to pursue a certification for myself. In the fall of 2015, I was a WITS certified personal trainer, which was great because I got a piece of paper that said I could tell people what to do. Two years later, I pursued competitive bodybuilding where I became seven time Mr. Olympia and governor of California. Wait. Um, nope, nope, uh, that wasn't me. Two years later, I pursued competitive bodybuilding where I competed in three shows overall, twice in physique and once in classic. It was during this time that my mindset and philosophy towards training took a drastic turn. Training was no longer a physical activity nearly as much as it was a mental one. Which brings us around to today's topic. While what I'll be talking about is by no means everything I've learned over the last 10 years, it's what currently resonates with me. With that out of the way, go ahead and throw on your matching Gymshark outfit and toss in your AirPods. Because today we're going over three lessons I've learned from 10 years of training. Number one, if you don't appreciate the work, the results won't matter. If impatience makes 10 minutes feel like an hour, imagine what 10 years of impatience feels like. While I wouldn't say I was impatient for all 10 years, I would definitely say I was impatient for at least like nine. Just kidding. Kind of. It wasn't until I started competing that I found a true respect for what I was doing as opposed to the results themselves. For whatever reason, the discipline, the schedule, the meal prep, everything clicked. While I would say most people shouldn't have to go to this extreme, it really made me appreciate what I was doing. More than anything else, when it comes to fitness, you're building character. And that's something that's measured on a spectrum. The way you look is temporary. The lessons you learn are not. Love the work. Number two, you're not the person in the magazine. Over the last 10 years, I couldn't put on a list the amount of people I idolized whether it be celebrities or people close to me that I wanted to look like. It was great because at the time it gave me motivation to get in the gym and work my ass off. The problem was is that as time went on, I was more wrapped up in the idea of trying to look like them rather than looking like myself. I didn't have Marky Mark's abs and I sure as shit didn't have Arnold's arms. I realized that idolizing these people was no longer serving my purpose. I started focusing on looking more like myself and less like them. There's nothing wrong with using idols and role models as motivation, but at a certain point, you should be looking up to yourself for inspiration. Myself tomorrow became my blueprint and going forward, it always will be. Focus on being yourself. And that brings us to our third and final lesson. Changes come to those that make them. When I first started training, it didn't matter what changes I implemented, any changes were gonna show results. It's amazing what'll happen when you start working out and stop eating junk food. Who knew? As time went on, making progress became progressively more difficult. Your current routine is a direct reflection of who you are right now. And if you don't like the way things are right now, it's time to make a change. But if you feel like you're just burnt out, maybe it's time to start a new workout routine. Start a new diet, walk a little bit longer. It doesn't really matter what you do, just do something. You know what the answer is if you're seriously asking yourself the question. Make the change or risk living in the past. I know this is all simple stuff and it's probably stuff that you've heard before, but honestly, a lot of fitness stuff is cliche. Regardless, I hope you're able to apply some of these lessons for yourself. If you agree or disagree with anything that I said, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. On the contrary, if anybody found this helpful and would like to hear more, let me know down in the comments and I'll be sure to make a follow-up. But I think that's it for now, guys. Thank you all for sticking around for another video and showing your support. Share this video if you'd really like to. And I look forward to coming up with something else for you guys. But until then, everyone stay well and practice safe sets. Okay, cool. See you later.